coming right back from Davao, Commander D. Good evening, good evening. Oh, sound effects and everything. <laughs> Christine beside me, by the way. Yeah, he has he has a live audience, you know. Ayo 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 ayo. Hold on, I'm confused now. So, if you're from Dava, where are you now? If I may ask, if it's not too much of a safety issue. <laughs> I'm I'm actually I'm, I'm in Dava. I'm in my house. So uh, okay, yeah. Dava. And then you came from recently. Just came, came from from Leyte. I was up in Samar. I spent two weeks going around Samar Island, and then I yeah. went back to Leyte, southern Leyte, and then I did a mad journey from four o'clock in the morning from Pintoyan all the way back to Dava, where I yeah. arrived. You, you do late. realize and you do realize there's like a couple of airports here and there that you could just take the airplane <laughs> take to and just the airplane to. <laughs> I'd like to Fly, try get right? my motorbike up the steps so, or maybe the air bridge is going to be easier, right? <laughs> right, right I wonder how that will go down. I've actually kind of unofficially dubbed Commander D as the rediscoverer of the Philippines, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He is all over the place. It's ridiculous. Actually, that's what I was going to be Part of my intro, Commander, if you don't mind me saying, uh, the reason why we got you on, that we'd like to have you on, and aside from the fact that you know we're living vicariously through your vlogs and every all the other Filipinos OFWs, uh, you know Balik Bayans and you know Balik Bayans, yes, Filipinos all over the world living vicariously through your adventures. You're, you're, we are two Filipino podcasters vicariously living through your BBC esque local uh, <laughs> vlogs Very local. Uh, uh, but bottom line is we're just really jealous of what you're doing really, yeah i really mean jealous of it, the it, opportunity. it's like because look at us filipino in the states that guy over there and then me, Fili me filipino here <laughs> filipino here in manila like what am i doing here <laughs> it's so annoying you know i mean it's it's i'm honestly my annoyance in regards to all of this is because i'm i'm just absolutely jealous you know where you can just obviously it takes you some planning but essentially you're hopping yeah. into your bike and going all over the country literally yeah. from north to south um my first question really is i know that for for quite a while now you've basically learned the language of Bisaya, all right, or the dialect of Bisaya. Yeah. Is it language, as yeah. helpful learning that as opposed to Tagalog if you're traveling up north? Yeah, I mean I, I learned Bisaya because I was based here and this is before yeah. I ever started doing any of this traveling. So right. I was based here I and mean, it was for me to really communicate with those who were working for me or who I was doing business with and so on and so forth so it served that purpose but uh yeah you, mm. learning Tagalog would be useful and i've started to pick up bits of it mm. because once you go to the north it's yeah right right there, there are people who speak Visaya, but they're few and far between it's very very much Tagalog but Visaya right. was the right one to learn at the time it right. was uh yeah. it was what i was using and if i learned Tagalog i mean Everyone speaks Tagalog, yes, but can they express themselves in Tagalog? Mm, mm. Not so, not so, not so easily, I'd say. So, so I, I actually, yeah. So my my wife is actually uh uh ma, uh Bisaya Bisaya dako ang ako ng asawa. Ah, makas, makas, makasabot ko gamay uh, na Bisaya. You know, just a little ah. bit, you know. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Now, tr now try saying that without reading the script. Try it again. Oh heck no. No, 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 no. I can't. I got it right here in front in front of me, right there. Now um, your vocal cue is pretty good, huh? It's, it's, uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't even notice it. Exactly. It's some, well, some jokes even come across funnier in Bisaya than compared to yeah. English. Or even if you, yeah, even if you translate do. it. Even if you translate it in English, it doesn't make it doesn't it, work. It's not. It's not. It's not as funny. It's like you guys, uh, yeah. Bisaya or Cebuano, how would or you Cebuano, say? Cebuano, yeah, Davaoenos. Yeah. Davaoenos. Yeah, yeah. You guys yeah. have a different, a different sense of humor there. I mean, it's like yeah, yes, exactly yeah. that. Exactly so that. Contagious. It's, um, it is. It is. No, no it's it's very Bisaya is a very or Bisaya Cebuano Bisaya, however you want to call it. It's it's a very expressive language. I, it's very, I was just about to say that. So much expression, and that's what I like about it. It's so right. it's fun. It's fun. It it kind of um it it 
the, the main reason why I brought that up and asked that question is I, I noticed yeah. it two days ago, really, how I'm understanding more Bisaya than usual. My wife speaks with yeah. her family in Bisaya, and then I'm watching videos and vlogs from you guys and Kulas and this other uh, Cebuano that uh, speaks in Bisaya. So I'm like, well, I, I can't actually yeah, understand but, it. <laughs> but yeah. Or if you don't understand it, don't you hate the fact that you're going to have to read the subtitles because you don't understand the Bisaya? I know. <laughs> typically, typically that would be the case, but it just naturally shocked me because oh my god i can actually understand what they're talking about you know i'm just sitting there anyway and it's no, it's no, it, I'll go it's love, it, no 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 and it's awesome also to see uh commander actually conversing with the you know with the, with the locals because they don't actually it, you don't it puts see them me to of, shame i'm embarrassed you don't see them struggling to express themselves right how right. does that how does that you know, you've been a couple of years here already. How 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 does it feel now to really sink your teeth into it? I mean, let's get into the entrepreneurship thing, the the businesses, the local business, yeah. the micro entrepreneurship later. No, but but for now, how does it? Are you beginning to really sort of settle in? Get is the is the where is, is the bed warm enough for you already? How does it feel now? A couple of years, even deeper into it, learning the even learning the language. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've been here for eight years, so the first, I say the first four years were very, were difficult. It was a big adjustment. And even when I spoke the language, there was still, I didn't quite get it. But uh, but in about around the fifth or sixth year, things started to come together. And in mm -hmm. the seventh year, I said, well, this is where I want to be. And it was really, oh, I have a new uh, title at the bottom now. Um, <laughs> You know, it's 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 like that. It's it. it I, I really realized that this is really this is where I want to be. And so, yeah, yeah, it, it kind of it, it it went together. And and I I came up from Samar, and the, in Samar it's awesome. The Warways are awesome people, but of course we don't speak the same language. Mm, yeah. And my Tagalog is very poor, and it's very bulo. So um, so when I hit the Bisaya areas again, it was nice because I could just communicate again because. It's yeah, Tagalog. I have to put it through here, and then let's, in, let's... in here, and then out again. And right. uh, it, it, it's yeah, great no. because it's even when I hit Davao coming back, I um, I hit the checkpoint, and the guy outside uh, uh, speaking to me in English. He said, "Oh, what's in here?" And I, uh, I, I, because in my head it was Mangasanina clothes, so I, right. I had to translate from beside it into, into <laughs> English, which is a weird, weird phenomenon. And and I, I let that hey, go on uh, clothes, and he said, "Ah, beside it, hey. <laughs> 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 Oh, we had a good laugh about that. It's, <laughs> it's, it's almost like it's like a different country. It's, you're experiencing a whole different Philippines compared to you know us here yeah. doing the with our experiences here it's just so much richer i think we're just so jealous like i said you know i don't want to i don't even want to hide it <laughs> <laughs> that's what i love about the um actually that's what i love about the philippines is that um in the philippines it's like there's multiple nations it's like there's um it's like there's yeah it is it's like yeah. it's like multiple nations that you could say there's probably six or eight nations in one and the culture it varies and especially as i travel around it's it there are differences but there's yeah. but the spirit of the filipino is always the same that's that's what i really notice yeah right that's beautiful yeah. we can we can end the show right there the spirit of the philippines thank you <laughs> for joining us today <laughs> hey it, um, it's 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 so we, we 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 just put it in the background this is like your new episode that you've posted on facebook on uh, youtube and whatnot um you were you were in northern summer for quite a while from from what it looks like on your episodes right mm. now one thing i really did notice was the language seems to have shifted so much it seems like it's a whole different realm just like what you said how how was yeah. that i mean was it really awkward walking around in that town uh filming yourself and talking to your camera oh it always is awkward to, uh to walking around talking to a camera but the the friendliness is what shines and it's yeah why is a different language it's right of the bisaya language family but <laughs> it's a different language there's not um the comprehension between the two is limited between Cebuano and, and Huawei is limited. Mm. Um, <laughs> you can just about make it out, but um, 
there, but there are also warlords who who will speak Cebuano. We a lot of them spent time in Cebu or yeah in Mindanao, and so I was with uh, I was thankful I was with with people who well we can speak the same language, but um, mm -hmm. in in some some spots it gets it gets interesting sometimes. Yeah, uh, there, yeah. there's a lot of language because when you think about what language you you're gonna learn here, there's so many. There's so right. many to choose from, and yes, everyone speaks Tagalog to a very reasonable degree, but the, um, mm -hmm. everyone also speaks English to a very reasonable degree. Correct. So Correct. Me, and, like, and Visaya is not that English. far from it. No, it's not. It's not. And and I think Visaya. So if we talk about Cebuano Visaya. I think that's the largest. Uh, I'm eating again. I'm always eating. <laughs> I think that's the largest. Um, the largest. What's it called? The largest uh, native language group in the Philippines. Mm. I say. I say that. I say. I think Bisaya has the most native speakers, more than Tagalog, certainly. But more people speak Tagalog uh, to some level of fluency. Right. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's 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 just interesting watching that, and uh, I'm like thinking to myself, huh? It's it's kind of amazing how you're just able to adapt and like kind of like a chameleon in a way because everywhere you go and where you look like, you just seem like a casual, regular person who lives in town, which is kind of cool. Well, well, that's the most important thing to do. Really. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And if you, but the thing is, if you act like that and you do that, they'll treat you like one of them. Right. That's what I, yeah. True, true, true. Yeah, I think it goes. It, it it also goes without saying. Now you know when you walk around and you kind of say that you're surprised that you you know people are so friendly. I think it goes the other way around first. That hey, wow, this this Caucasian guy is so friendly to us also. So I mean, it just goes. Yeah, I think right. I think people really reflect your energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, one of the one of the things that I wanted to ask you also, I mean, how how did you take you know the other natural wonders of the world, natural wonders of the Philippines, the Lubak Lubak roads? How did you get to? <laughs> were you okay managing those? <laughs> I am. I don't know about my motorbike. I somehow I was carrying a wood carving all the way down. Um, we're about to get to that section. Yeah. Oh, well, there we are. Um, mm. <laughs> I was actually quite amazed that the road that it's possible for the roads to dip that low. And I mean, these action cams, it's twice as deep as it looks in real right. life. Right. Um, I was quite, quite impressed that it's possible for the substrate to dip like that. I thought I've never seen that before. <laughs> it was uh, yeah, interesting. But um, it's... <laughs> when I got back to Davao, it's... I had to change the, the front bearings on my motorbike. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah. It's gotten that bad, huh? <laughs> it's... Um, they're pretty bad, but you kind of deal with them. That's why that's why my my pickup is a high lift because and it's modified for for the roads. But right. even so, since a certain point, it very mm. easily gets shaky. I think I, <laughs> right. it's um, yeah, they're, they're, they're interesting. But um, how, hey, how... you know what? It's nice to have the roads. Yeah. There, there's a, a good network of them. So you you were up north for quite a while and then ventured on to the east yeah. side of Visayas and whatnot. Um, what was the most memorable part so far? So many. And, well, of them. And, so and some many. of those places actually you've been more than more. That's 